The first thing you need to do is to actually install the plugin. Now I do have a full video on how to install plugins, but basically if you downloaded a plugin, it will come with an EXE file if you're on Windows. And I'm gonna be talking primarily about Windows in this video because that's what I use. So when you download that plugin, it will come with the EXE file. You open that up and it will walk you through an installer. You'll pick where you want it to be installed and you'll just click next, 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 install. Then that will be installed on your system. The thing with that though, is just because it's installed in your system does not mean you can now use it in FL Studio because you can come up here, you can look for the instrument and it might not be there. What do you do then? That's also very easy. At that point, you need to go to options, go to manage plugins. When this pops up, you'll have the option to actually scan your system for those plugins. So wherever you installed the plugin, FL Studio will search those folders to actually find the plugins. When that's done, you'll see the plugins appear in this section over here. Let's wait for this to load and I'll show you what you need to do next. So the next step is you need to favorite the plugin. In order to do that, on the left hand side, all you need to do is find the plugin and then click this star. Once you do that, the plugin will be favorited. I don't know why my computer is moving so slow. There you go. The plugin will be favorited and then you'll be able to actually see it in your channel rack. So we just added 3X Oscillator that was not there before. And when we open up the channel rack, I'll show you that it's actually available. But before we get into that and I show you the proof of this actually working, if you want to learn how to make your own trap beats from scratch at home, you can do so using my easy nine step trap beat making formula for absolutely free. All you need to do is join my free course. Link down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course. The best thing about the course is it's absolutely free. But apart from that, it will teach you how to go from making your melodies all the way to mastering your beat. And you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join the course because it won't be free and available forever. So join it ASAP, link down below. Now let's get back into the video. I was about to show you that the 3X oscillator actually is available now. And if we come to my channel rack and go to add instrument, this is where you add instruments. As you can see, the 3X oscillator is there. So all we need to do is click the plus button, go to the instrument and then click on it. And as you can see, it's now up and available. Not the best instrument for, you know, playing stuff. Like oh, bit ringy, bit ringy. So at this point, the next thing you generally want to do is open the piano roll. In order to do this, we're going to right click and then go to piano roll. And then here you are. Now you can actually create a melody whatever there we go let's play this back real quick and yeah let's turn off fl keys and see see what this sounds like this is too loud though okay sounds terrible but the point is instruments there and we can actually manipulate it and create melodies and create an actual beat from there now if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below check out that video next and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.